cayó en el agua. I'm guessing it's waterproof. Wait, what? Uh, you're the one. You're asking. This is your. Uh, your recipe video. Why are you asking me what to do next? Okay. Make some bread. In this video, I'll be making a different kind of bread, and it will be all in English. So we, I'm making the overnight 40% whole wheat bread from the book Flour, Water, Salt, and Yeast. Um, let me show you. So the things that you need to make this bread is a white all-purpose unbleached flour and you also need whole wheat flour. You will need salt and then instant yeast. And then for the equipment itself, I'll just put like in the description anything that you need, but you can see here, tub, Dutch oven, scale, thermometer, a basket, some rice flour, and then a plastic bag. Why is rice flour an instrument and not an ingredient? Because you... Okay. Well, it's not part of the bread. Should I go again? Cut! So in this video, I'll be making two loaves. Um, but you can just half it if you want to make just one. So what you need is 600 grams of white oat of flour. And on top of the 600 grams of white all purpose, you add 400 grams of whole wheat flour. Um, I'm just gonna pour it. Then you also need 800 grams of water between 90 to 95. Now, the next part is just to mix by hand. Um, you wanna make sure there's no dry flour in the tub. So, as you can see, after not that much mixing, it's all incorporated. Then you just put the lid on, or if you have a bowl, just cover it. Uh, and then 20 to 30 minutes, and then we'll do the mixing. So, it's been about 30 minutes since we did the outer release. So, now what we have to do is add the salt and the yeast. So, in this bowl, there's 22 grams of salt and three grams of instant yeast or one fourth of a teaspoon and proceed to mix with two different methods that I'll teach you. But for the first part of the mixing, you wet one of your hands, the other hand you grab the tub and you're gonna fold the dough over itself um, four or five times. So essentially you put your hand underneath the dough and then you pull until it's like at the point it's gonna break and then you fold it on itself. You do the same on the other side. Don't be afraid to uh, water your hands a couple of times as you do this. So the next part is called the pincer method. So using your thumb and your finger, you're gonna like pinch and break dough. So you go like this. And you're gonna do this, then fold the dough onto itself to put it back into one piece, right? And then you wet your hand again, and then do it again. So essentially it's cutting with the pincer method and then folding it onto itself until it is thoroughly incorporated or you reach the target temperature around 77 to 78 Fahrenheit. After mixing, I let the dough rest for a couple minutes and then I'll do one last bowl and then it will go into bulk fermentation, which essentially for the next five hours, I'm gonna let the dough rest and it will increase in volume. But for the first two hours, every 30 minutes, I'll do another fold similar to this. And now this will help build gas inside the dough. So essentially, same as we did before, just grab the dough, then pull it until it's about to break, fold it onto itself, then do the same. And then 30 minutes from now, do it again four times, and then after five hours, we'll divide it, shape it, and let it proof. So you need about two feet of space, thoroughly floured, and then 
take out the dough, you flour your hands first, right? And then what you wanna do is you wanna put flour all around the rim of the tub. Just push that in, try not to break the, the dough too much, but push the flour so it's not gonna stick to the, to the side. And now you just tip it and you see that it's helping with your fingers. So now this is double the size, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide it. Um, so first I need to like pick it up and make sure that it's flat-ish. So pick it up from the from the flower size from the bottom, just trying to make sure that it's sort of even. I'm gonna show you how to shape one and then uh, basically the same for the other one. So what you need to do is again, hand on the bottom, same, another fold, fold, stretch, 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 put on, it, on, it, on, it, on itself, same here. And see, and this will be essentially your stitch, um, your seam side. And now what you need to do is flip it onto a non flower surface and you're gonna give it tension. You pick it up and then you put it, you flip it to the other side, the, se uh, the seam side down. And then what you wanna do is with your pinky fingers, you're gonna put pressure on the bottom and you're gonna pull it towards you. You're gonna feel the dough, you do a forward turn, you're gonna feel the dough tense up and see like it's starting to become like a ball. Pick it up, you turn it, you do the same thing. Here we have a banneton, which is what, what it's gonna do the proofing. And I put a little bit of rice flour, and put a little bit more, because I've had issues with it sticking. And then you pick it up, you plop it down, and then you just cover it with a plastic bag and then use a rubber band and close it here. And then you put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow we bake it. It's been around 15 hours since we put it in the fridge. I took it out and now it should, I have the Dutch oven in the, in the oven at 105 Fahrenheit. So this is how big it looks now. And to make sure that you know that it's ready, you do the finger test which essentially you put some flour on the dough and then you put your finger in and it should slowly bounce back and then, but the dent should stay. Um, so now what you need to do is you essentially just flip it so the seam side is up into the counter. Okay, look at that, not bad. Um, the last one is pretty hot, so be careful when you touch it. So now you flour your hands and you're gonna try to drop it in the middle without burning here, without touching the other sides. Just pick up the dough. That anyway, way this can go straight from the fridge to the to the Dutch oven. Just pick up the dough, carefully drop it, and then put the lid on. And you're gonna bake it for 30 minutes, then take the lid off and then 20 more minutes. You're gonna uh, bake it with the lid off. It looks like it's ready and perfect. So now, let's take it out. Look at it. Oh man, that's a pretty bread. So it's been around 40 minutes since we baked the bread. Here's the second vlog that I made, way smaller, because can be vibe apparently but um so now we're gonna do a little home shot pretty good huh yeah and that's how you make 40% whole wheat bread